Business owners are working to return to business as usual after Saturday night's raging fire off Capitol Street in downtown Jackson. 12 News' Marie Minifield checked in with neighboring businesses as they continue to clean up. Downtown businesses are still trying to figure out how much damage the fire caused. Though not directly burned by the flames, lingering smoke and water damage is evident. Um, <clears throat> right now, what's going through my mind, I'm just glad everybody's okay, um, first and foremost. I mean, everybody got out safely. Um, it could have been a lot worse. Um, this whole block could have been up, so, but thanks to the Jackson Fire Department, everything's, you know, mostly intact. I mean, we're just going to keep going. That's, I mean, <laughs> every time I face with a problem, I just deal with it at this point. So, um, we're just, we're going to clean up, which we're going to reassess, we're going to try to find more used records. The owner of the primary building that caught fire says, the future of the space is unknown, but they do know it will be used. It was the original post office of Jackson. Um, and so, you know, uh, we, we've got to wait and talk to adjusters and talk to folks about what we're going to do. But there's a lot of options on the table about what, what might happen with 520. Either rebuild it, make it into an outdoor venue. Um, that's really just too early to, to make a decision on 520, the building that was destroyed. Um, Spingler's Corner is one of the oldest commercial blocks in the city, originally built in the mid to late 1800s. Many businesses have come and gone, but Rollins and Eve says they plan to stay. In Jackson, Marie Minifield, 12 News.